Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for our prayer meditation Matthew's gospel chapter 14 verse 22 onwards we are going to see verse 22 and straight away Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side the lord is constraining or forcing the disciples to go through a storm he knows that they have to face a storm when they travel so in the same manner today the entire mankind the human race now we are facing the problem of corona what we have to understand here is our lord he allowed us to go through this kind of situation the second thing is verse 23 and when he had sent the multitudes away he went up into a mountain apart to pray what he is praying and for whom he is praying if we ask this questions certainly we understand that all knowing god knowing the turmoil of the disciples he will be praying for them so this gives us an assurance that as a high priest sitting on the right side of the father our lord he is praying for you and me especially when we are in the midst of the storm and thirdly what we see is in mark's gospel chapter 6 and verse 48 and he saw them toiling so he is the one who prays and also he sees our problem and then further what we see is he cometh unto them so he comes to us and further what we see is walking upon the sea and would have passed by them so what we understand from this is we have our god very near to us available to us almighty god all knowing god nothing is impossible to him but he is as if he is passing by what does that speak to us our god will not come into our life or he will not come and solve our problems by force so this is where the prayer comes in we need to invite him we need to pray to him call him into our life in john's gospel chapter 6 and verse 21 then they willingly received him into the ship the disciples willingly received the lord into the ship so god has given us a free will he will not come into our life by force so this is where we have to pray when we pray we are inviting the lord into our life into our boat and we are handing over all our problems all our cares unto him so when the lord came into the ship then we what we see is immediately the storm stopped and the wind also stopped so all our problems will be solved when the lord comes into our uh, boat so thank you praise the lord